Well, here we are on YouTube. We're also on Twitch. We're also on Discord. And we're also specifically on Patreon. Welcome. 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 Yeah, we're uh, we're kind of excited when we get to do these particular responses. This is uh, every every month we we do a draw or where we like you know go through our patrons and uh, we pick four at random um, and <laughs> whether they want to or not, it, whether they want to draw. To yeah, that's right. If, yeah. That's right. If, yeah, if you're a patron, you're part of a draw. Sorry. And, and like, yeah. so we message them and say, "Hey, you've won a free reaction." And every month is kind of weird. Sometimes all four of them respond and we do four. And sometimes like one of them responds. So far, only one has responded. So here from we are. December. From December. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So from we're going to be drawing four more names. No matter what tier you're on, on our Patreon, you are automatically entered into a random number generated draw. Your name is attached to a number. And we, we reach out to you and say, hey, you get a free song. It's like a free $25 song. You know what I mean? But yeah. whatever. Yeah. So well, somebody but somebody responded. They're like, sure, I'll take a free one. And it happens to be a Taylor Swift song. So that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, who, so the oh, song is... is reading this? Oh, sorry. sorry. Well, there's not much to read. It's just kind of like, I request this song. And it's from, sorry. Ace. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ace. So... The song is Wildest Dreams at the Grammy Museum. Now, I just want to say um, we've had bad luck with anything related, anything associated with the Grammys. Uh, we actually got a strike on our channel for, for one particular one. So yeah, this is most likely going to be on Patreon only. But yeah. if it ends up on YouTube, hey, everything Great. I just said, you're like, why are yeah, you saying I'm going to sacrifice... YouTube? I'm going to sacrifice my other channel, give it a try, and see if it doesn't get a strike there. We'll, we'll, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. This is called Wildest Dreams. <laughs> He says, get out of this town, drive out of the city, away from the crowds. I thought heaven can't help me now, nothing lasts forever. But this is gonna take me down, he's so tall, handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. I can see the end as it begins.
Can you imagine being lucky enough to be in that, that little intimate crowd? Sorry, say it again. <clears throat> say, say it again. Can you imagine being lucky enough to be in that little intimate crowd? Like to right. be able to to witness in that setting what we did. Like it, this was great. Like this was phenomenal to see. Like a essentially like I don't think she made a single mistake. Like like her guitaring, you know, is is you know just right, and her vocals are are just like you know incredible. Um, yeah. But to to witness, I guess I'm I'm always like I'm, I'm somewhat intoxicated with watching her live. Mm-hmm. I think that's me my too. favorite. I love I love her videos. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're, they're I think well, that's videos. what I mean. Where it's a treat. Either way, it's a treat with her. You know, we yeah. listen to the audio studio version or watch the music video afterwards or see the live performance first, whatever that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's you're never yeah. It's it's a treat either way. But something about her live is just that much better. I think we've been more enthralled mm-hmm. with the live stuff than anything yeah uh yeah yeah. yeah, so i mean i don't know the original course or the studio for sorry like the studio version to the song yeah we have Uh, no reference i like this song no no reference so this is our first time hearing that song Mm -hmm. i do like this well here sorry of course i like yeah i like the song um (laughs) what it showcases again we're starting to see this is just how clean and and pure her vocal work is i mean this is just her and a mic and a guitar yeah and you see this and you're thinking, okay, this isn't a pop star. And I, the, and I use that because often when we say, oh, it's just a pop star, it's pop music. And people who are music snobs, and I'm not, but be, and but I've been guilty of this. Mm-hmm. We can kind of downplay the talent of a pop star and by saying they're a pop star. Mm-hmm. So does she write music that's catchy or easy to listen to or easy to get into? Okay. Maybe she's guilty of that. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Meaning, I like it. I'm. I don't like. I don't want to be complicated when I listen to music. I don't. Mm. I. I don't. I don't want to be challenged or feel like I have to take an exam when I'm done listening to a song. <laughs> so, that's what I like about. That's why pop music. It's short for popular. That's what mm-hmm. it means. It's, it's popular because it's accessible to a large audience or a large audience appreciates the sound. So there's popular co- country music. There's popular metal. Mm-hmm. There's popular everything because it's it there's a wide audience for any kind of genre of music so the point i'm trying to make is watching her sing this with just herself with the guitar and i love the tone of the guitar she picked uh it, this is like i don't know how to classify it because she's playing electric guitar and she's singing this amazing vocal work and the lyrics are of course what they are mm-hmm. you're like what, what i don't know what the classification is is it rock i mean you, you you put Eddie Vedder singing the same song and he's playing the guitar. Let's say right. you don't say, "Oh, this is like a, a grunge rock song" because Eddie Vedder singing it. Get, see what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. though it's played the exact same way, <clears throat> yep. but because it's Taylor singing it, it might be mis, uh, uh, mislabeled as a pop song. So, anyways, so this is what I find her fascinating is she's able to dive into these different platforms and genres, and uh, yeah, I'm just blown away by how how she does it. It's just yeah, mm-hmm. she's she's a legit talent at the end of the oh, day. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. There's there's no no question in my mind any longer about why Taylor Swift is who she is, and and why those well, like why her album, there's a more recent one went, you know every like every song was on the top. Everything everything broke. Oh, speaking yeah. of that album, breaking records. I think it was the Midnight's album. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe the Midnight's album was first album since the 80s i think i'm getting this right that sold more vinyl than cd oh something like that well, that's cool or something to that effect that that anyway so a huge vinyl record was set with this album as well so it just broke all kinds of records <laughs> at the end of the day <laughs> spotify number one this all that mm. but at the end of the day too a billboard of course like 14 of the slots were mm. were taylor's but apparently the vinyl records it broke as well well so yeah oh that is cool yeah. that's very yeah. cool all right uh, well enough gushing you know, taylor yeah. all right that's enough uh, enough uh, that's enough yeah, that. yeah that's enough of that yeah, Good. Enough. Yeah, right. yeah, people don't want to hear us yeah uh cool that was a lot of fun and if you made it this far into the video the uh the code word is recorder okay so oh. type that in the comment and that means you made it to the end uh that was a lot of fun and uh, we hope to see you on the next one Absolutely.